June 11, 1963. Alabama Governor George Wallace takes a symbolic stand against racial integration at the University of Alabama. He blocks a doorway on campus, defying a federal court order, allowing two black students to enroll at the school. I deem it to be my solemn obligation and duty to stand before you, representing the rights and sovereignty of this state and its people. Wallace backs down after Alabama National Guard troops under federal control are ordered to the campus. Also that same year, in what's then South Vietnam, a Buddhist monk immolates himself in the capital Saigon, now Ho Chi Minh City. It's a protest against South Vietnamese leader No Diem Ziem for his crackdown on Buddhists. Ziem is killed in a military coup months later. 2001. Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh is executed by lethal injection at a federal prison in Terre Haute, Indiana. 1919. In New York, Sir Barton wins the Belmont Stakes, the first to win horse racing's Triple Crown. On the same day, 58 years later, Seattle Slough wins the Belmont, the first undefeated racer to capture the Triple Crown. And 1979. Well, take some advice, Pilgrim. You put that thing up, you'll have to defend it with a gun. Actor John Wayne, the silver screen legend known as The Duke, dies of cancer in Los Angeles. He was 72. Today in history, June 11th, Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.